And I do believe that we have rock, rock politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. The constant attack on farmers has got a lot of people baffled on why the nation would choose to self-detonate like that. Attack the farmers, you attack the food. And effectively, the whole West has attacked its farmers. From the UK ordering rewilding programmes, effectively paying them not to farm their own land. We've seen the push for farms to be banned altogether, haven't we? With the Netherlands forcing sellouts on farmers with a clause they can never farm again, even outside the nation. Germany are closing farms too. Climate change being cited as an excuse. And it's all to save the world, etc. Now we all know it has to be a grift of epic proportions, don't we? And we also know it has to gain them more control. Otherwise, they wouldn't be pushing it so hard. Control the food, control the people. Now this is Mark Rutt, the Netherlands leader, explaining why they are hitting the farmers so hard and trying to stop the industry altogether. So the role of businesses in the agri-food sector should be stimulated and able to create scalable uh, solutions. And here, I'd like to highlight a, a World Economic Forum initiative in this regard, the World Economic uh, Forum Food uh, Innovation Hubs. And these hubs in Africa, in Asia, in South America and in Europe uh, will allow uh, businesses to connect regional stakeholders to skill innovations, because this is key, uh, skill innovations that can address food systems, challenge, food systems challenges. And here, uh, I'm particularly proud to announce that the Netherlands will host the Global Coordinating Secretariat of the World Economic Forum Food Innovation Hubs, which will connect all other food innovation hubs. And I believe this is important because it will be facilitating to create uh, the partnerships we need. So four global food hubs. Are we seeing why they want all the farming shut. Genetic food and fake meats incoming. Eat the bugs or starve. Germany are even attempting to ban all meat from the nation altogether. As we speak, Bill Gates and his 3D printed gloop meat will be pleased, won't they? So they said, Asia, South America, Europe, and African food hubs. Basically means global control of every single citizen, regardless of the nation. Let's look at these hubs, shall we? There we go, on the World Economic Forum's own website. Worldwide, nearly 2 billion people lack access to sufficient, nutritious and safe food, and 690 million people suffer from chronic hunger or lack of pro proper nutrition. Current food systems need to produce much more food, whilst already now planetary boundaries are being crossed. Yeah, you're crossing them big time, aren't they, everyone? We don't need to produce more food. We just need to allow people to produce their own food more often. We just need to stop wasting the amount of food we do. You know, with the sell-by dates, etc., etc. The amount of food we throw away is astronomical and will probably feed the world, but there's no profit in that, is there? The Food Innovation Hubs, initially catalyzed by the World Economic Forum with public, private, and civil society partners. So effectively, everyone but the people. They say public, but how many How many of you were asked if this was something that you wanted? Enabling innovations to sustainably improve the way we produce and consume food through an ecosystem approach. Our food systems must become more sustainable, efficient, inclusive, and deliver more nutrition and healthy food. Innovations that can help transform our food system are often already out there. Unfortunately, the adoption and scale-up of innovations in the agri-food sector lags behind other sectors. It's got nothing to do with that, has it? You're lagging behind, but it's just an excuse to shut everything and then they'll control whether you eat or not and whether your family eats or not. When has a bureaucrat ever managed to make your life any better? Anyone? Anyone? Leave a comment if you do think they have. Now, they're actually claiming that this is locally driven but globally supported. What that basically means is you'll grow what we tell you or we won't give you anything. <laughs> so this isn't supported globally, this is enforced globally. And we've seen what happens with enforcement from bureaucrats, haven't we? Food Innovation Hubs are the next phase of the World Economic Forum's Innovation with a Purpose platform and the flagship initiative of the Forum's Food Action Alliance. The Food Innov Innovation Hubs are funded by partners from governments, private sector innovators, entrepreneurs, farmers, organisations, civil society, international organisations and others. The hubs are designed to locally to address the needs of the local food systems. Does anyone actually 
actually believe that this is to address the needs of local food systems, considering they're systematically trying to shut down local food systems. I don't know how anyone can read the World Economic Forums. Bumph, because that's all it is. It's just bumph and propaganda and a way for them to claim more power and more money from people like you and me and a way to control what you think, what you do and how you behave. You're not seeing where the next step of this is, everyone. Let me know what you think, though. Stay sane. We need to fight this World Economic Forum and everyone that's involved with it. We need to get rid of them all. But what I say you, I'll see you on the next one.